That's what that purpose is for these men that we've named. Yeah. After they die, the message lives on through a perfect scripture, which I claim is the Quran, is the perfect unchanged word of God. Yeah. Now, is this something that you would like to adopt into your life? Because, you know, Abraham, he made a prayer to God. He said, oh God, make my children submitters to you. Oh God, make my children Muslim. Muslim means someone who submits to God. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. You good? How are you? Alhamdulillah. Let me finish this combo, but we'll talk. You're looking nice, my bro. May Allah bless you. Um, so I'm saying to get paradise, right? Do you want paradise? How do you earn it? How do you earn it? How do you know what's the right thing? No, no, the conscience. So you should give me the conscience to know what is right and what is wrong. So if you are doing something that you know that is wrong, then you know that. But yeah. people's conscience, people's um, choice changes. Does that make sense? So right now, depending on the society you live in, your idea of wrong and right changes. Some people. So that is why God, you God gave you the conscience. Even things are changing. This I agree, God is going to judge us according to what we've done on this earth. I know that, to, that statement to be true. How do you know it's true? Do you believe the Bible is the unchanged word from God? No, because there's something there's already was it called? Man made means gone into it, it's been changed, altered. The Bible just is something that has been rewritten. Because when we say what from what is Christianity, then we also ask where does the Christian also come from? Because is a, that's something sometimes Christians religion can be quite a bit uh, and it's how do you call it? If you don't know what you also believe in, it can be quite confused because when you ask what you said is by then people say, no, there's Christianity before Christian, before the Christianity. And you say the Ethiopians were there. You don't understand. When you go back to history, there's already beliefs in God before Christianity. So um, I'm saying to you Religion, worshiping God, knowing God shouldn't be complicated or difficult. Exactly, that's what yeah. I'm saying. I worship, I'm saying my, I worship one God. I know there's one God. Now, we worship through why God. don't you worship that one God through the perfect scripture that was given to, to mankind? So I'm saying the Quran is perfect. No word, no law has been changed. It's been preserved. Then why don't you submit your will to the one who created the universe? I have a lot of colleagues who are sometimes have some discussion so far and then they will say sometimes they will say that's a fine some, some of the Quran they are quite similar to the Bible because when you look from the from Madam, the old, do you believe old, in the Bible? I, no, not really. The Bible, then why do you keep referencing the Bible? Because the fact of the matter is I agree with you yeah, because, there are elements of truth in the Bible yeah. and there are elements which have been man-made and changed which are very dangerous exactly. so I generally recommend people to be careful because exactly. why would you read a book that's got mistakes in it, dangerous things in it, over a book where there's no doubt? You know the Quran, it says it's from God and God will preserve it. The Bible doesn't make that claim. Does that make sense? So I would say, madam, do you have good friends who are practicing Islam? Yeah, I have a lot of friends. I have a colleagues who are Muslim. So yeah, sometimes we have discussion about both Christian and both. Uh, not easy like Christian, it's about the world general religions. Anyway. But you need to speak about religion. I would say, look, Madam, I'm going to tell you the five pillars of Islam. Yeah? The first pillar gets you into paradise, which is that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah. Saying that statement in Arabic, believing in that statement will 
enter you into paradise sooner or later. Then comes into praying five times a day, keeping that daily connection with God. Then um, paying zakat, which is a mandatory charity of giving 2.5% of your annual wealth, money you haven't spent in one year. No, 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 no. It's 2.5% money that you haven't spent in one year, your savings that you don't need. In one year, you give 2.5%. We eradicated poverty. Islam is the only way of life that actually done that. Then you've got um, Ram uh, fasting in the month of Ramadan, 30 days. Yeah? If you have the health, if you're not too old, uh, if you're not too young. Then you've got the fifth pillar, which is the Holy Pilgrimage, Hajj. Going to the place... Yeah. <laughs> going to yeah. where Abraham built the Kaaba yeah. and doing the acts of worship shown by Abraham. Yeah. Do you disagree with any of these things? I don't disagree. I never disagree of anybody's religion. I always respect their views or whatever, but we always have a good discussion about Then what's so stopping you, madam, from leaving this conversation as a Muslim, someone who submits their will to God, by testifying with your tongue what you believe in your heart? Because the only reason is, I'm happy for you to go read the Quran, do your own research, but we can't guarantee 10 seconds. So if you die right now, I would want you to go to paradise. And the way to guarantee you're going to go to paradise is by testifying what's in your heart. Say, Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah, wa ashadu anna Muhammadan abduhu rasul. It's a testimony of the tongue of what's in the heart. So you believe there's only one God, we worship God alone, and you believe that we don't worship anything else? Well, that's not, not right. There's a lot of people who worship other stuff. No, no, I'm talking about what you believe. Yeah. We should only worship God. We only worship God. Yeah. And God sent the perfect example to mankind, the Prophet Muhammad. What, 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 what does I believe in when we all worship, if they all make it that we are worshiping one God, and not through somebody else, I agree, that's what Islam teaches. Not through somebody else, then there will be peace in this world. I agree, I agree. That's why I'm inviting you to Islam, madam. This is what Islam teaches you. Yeah? I have a lot of loans, so... Should I help you, Khalil? That's all right. It's nice talking to you. Madam, we're here every Saturday. You have the Quran, read through it, look into Islam more, look into the Prophet Muhammad, Protect yourself from, guarantee Allah yourself beliefs. paradise. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Protect yourself from the wrong beliefs. Because yeah. at the moment you have the right belief. Yeah. There's only one God. But that belief without the testimony of the tongue isn't going to get you to paradise. That belief um, needs to be manifested into with actions of the limbs. You need that connection with God. Praying five times a day. You need that food for the soul. You need the guidance of the Quran. You need to read like a paragraph a day, a paragraph a week. Like have that something with God, some sort of connection with God. I do that. That's what I'm saying. How do you do that, madam? I, I read. What I do you read, God. madam? When I, it's not I read, I talk to God, I meditate to God when I, was, when I have my quiet time. Why don't you pray, connect it's with God? No, no, you know, Jesus. Yeah. yeah? In Garden of Isaiah, uh, I can't pronounce it, yeah? He fell to the forehead to the ground, yeah? And he prayed to God. Fell to his knees with the forehead to the ground. That's how Muslims pray, yeah? Moses... But then, that's what I'm saying. Even if, yeah, because when you talk about religion or you talk about peace, Muslims and Jews and whatever, yeah, just one brother. That's what I'm saying. If, when you go back to the roots of whatever it is, they all, one, they, all they all come but from the same root, and the way but man-made elements have gone into that Christianity. Is a, that is, that's what I'm saying. So there's nothing that you are this. I'm different from you. We are all worshiping one God. So if that's what I'm saying, that is my belief. You understand that if we all come together and say, oh, you have to do one thing from the other. Oh, even those who are Judaism, they also meditate. They also have their belief. Meditate, they meditate that there's one supreme being. Because I've been to other Asian countries. That's why I like learning other 
religion, other culture, so that adults... Who taught you how to meditate? Did Jesus say meditate? Did Moses say meditate? Did Jesus, did Ma the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon all of them, did they say meditate? They, say they said meditate. worship but God they alone. Worship, but they worship God. That's what I'm saying. They meditate and worship God. That's how they also worship their God. That's Let's leave the mean. word meditation out of it because it confuses people. Because I think they, that's what, they also do. what did they do? They ask God. Yeah. yeah. So follow the asking. Ask God. Like when you leave this conversation, yeah. put it down or let me carry it, madam. I feel guilty. Yeah. When they, like when you leave this conversation, go say, look, the one who created me. Yeah. Say Allah. Do you believe in Allah? Allah is God. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I have a lot of Muslims. And we always have discussion about if this Allah is, is God's I'm, mother. Uh, it's not like this is this is strange thing to God to be discussing with because I'm always that's so I'm comfortable talking with you because I have a lot of Muslims and we always have discussion about this. Thing. So it's nothing new to me. Allah is God. They always explain certain things to me as well. So it's nothing new to me. So that's what I'm saying. We God gave us the conscience. God created us, but He didn't take away our conscience. He gave us the conscience to know what is wrong and what is right. And even though things are changing. We, God didn't take us conscious. We still have it. So we have to Madam, know the, right the consciousness thing. has been corrupted. The society is corrupting us. Schools are corrupting the next generation. Does that make sense? Wrong is turning says, into right. Even in the, by, in the world, in the Quran or whatever, Solomon, what is, there's nothing new under the sun. As Solomon said, things will always go alright. It will always be taken. Whatever is going on right now, there's nothing new under the sun of Muslim. God knows what is going on. And these things that are changing. But then, that's my point. So yeah. God, to protect you, has sent a perfect book, the Quran. So follow the guidance. Does it make sense? If there was any corruption in the Quran, it's my conscience whether I have to follow it or not. So when I you have free will, so use that free will because you believe in Allah. You said it yourself. Yeah. You believe that um, all of these men are the messengers of God. You believe the Prophet Muhammad was sent by God because. When you look into his lifestyle more, this is the, the fastest growing religion in the world. We, everyone believes in the Prophet Muhammad to be a righteous man who came with the perfect guidance which is the Quran. If Allah exists, the Quran is the word of God. Yeah, it's the word of Allah. And the Quran has been perfectly preserved. Then the man it was revealed to, the Prophet Muhammad, must be sent by God. It's the messenger of God. 1400 years ago, he's given his sermon, uh, men amongst men saying, no white man is better than a black man. No Arab is better than a non-Arab. He was given women's rights, he's saying, the only thing that differentiates you is taqwa, your God consciousness. This is the man I'm saying came with Islam. This is the last part of the Shahada. When you say, I bear witness there's no God apart from Allah and I bear witness the Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. Why don't you utter these statements, become Muslim, practice Islam, practice the perfect guidance and guarantee yourself paradise. I'll take that on board and continue to do the respect if I talk to you. Madam, yeah. God, I pray yeah. that Allah makes it easy for you Thank and guides you to the truth furthermore and gives you the confidence to embrace Islam. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much, madam. You. you take care. You too. Have a pleasure.